Hi, my name is Kara Conan, and I'm clinical director and a licensed marriage and family therapist at Grow Through Life Counseling. We're an outpatient practice that specializes in treating children and teenagers in San Diego County. We have two locations. Today I'm coming to you from our Eastlake location. Um, we also have another location in the Carmel Valley Del Mar area. So all of our clinicians are specialized in treating children and that's the type of work we love to do. Tonight I am honored to be talking at the Arroyo Vista PTA meeting and some of the topics I'm gonna cover are common behavioral problems with children. So one thing I'd like to share with you is the idea of natural or logical consequences. This is something we're recommending to families all the time. A lot of times when families come to see us, they take away the electronics for every single consequence. I, I don't know what else they care about besides their video game or their phone, so they lose that every time. Well, the problem with that is then the child goes, I don't know why I lost my phone a day later. They just are mad at you because they lost their phone. But they're, what, what's missing in that whole dynamic is, are they learning from the consequence? So our recommendation is always to use natural and logical consequences. So for example, you stayed up 20 minutes late last night, you need to go to bed 20 minutes early tonight. You missed doing a chore, we're gonna add an extra chore. If somebody has hurt someone's feelings or um, physically injured them, I recommend writing out an apology note. And the format of that note should include what was the situation, what are they sorry for, what is the feeling that they felt when they did that behavior, and the next time they feel that way, what could they do differently? So, Johnny, I'm sorry I got mad at you, brother, for tripping and unplugging the video game. I just got really angry. I shouldn't have called you that name. Next time I get really angry, I'm gonna walk away and go in my room and punch a pillow, calm down. So we're giving the optimum chance of learning if we're using a logical, natural consequence. If a child has to go to bed early and you ask, why do you have to go to bed early? And they say, I stayed up too late last night. They're really able to understand that, hopefully integrate that lesson and not choose to do that problematic behavior again. So that's a wrap on natural and logical consequences. Stay tuned for the next videos in, these, in this series. Um, next up is um, tips for setting effective limits.